Welcome guys, greetings and salutations. Welcome to CatchesU.com. Guess what we got today? The video probably everyone watched that really isn't out there. The Walder PPQ SC Verse P365 video. I'm gonna shoot 20 rounds in each various ways and compare them. Guys, I have complete separate videos, first shot, first impressions with each. I suggest you also watch that and compare them as I talk a lot about the very different sizes, kind of same category, kind of not. This is really like a subcompact. This is really like a oh, super subcompact. This is an LC9S size. This is a Glock 26 or mmp 9 c size. So, guys, there's the pistols. Check out the other videos. But here's the comparison video you've all been waiting for. I am at Guns, Range Guns and Safes in Atlanta. They have two locations. Check them out. Great gun range. They let me go back here to get some quiet on the rifle side so you guys can actually hear me pretty well. And um, these are empty firearms. I've already triple checked them and I'll pick up the pistols now just for a little bit of size comparison stuff. Watch my other videos to talk about the size difference and I even throw an LCP comparison in here as well. Check out that video. Not going to do everything today. Huh? Now let's get to shooting. I'm going to try and do a little bit different, a little bit the same stuff we did in the other videos. Guys, I only have 20, um, I think 26 rounds through the P365. This is a rental gun that I cleaned up before shooting to make sure it was fairly fair. This is a brand new a subcompact PPQ. I have about 50 rounds already through it, like 40. 547 something like that to be fair i got a five inch ppq uh, but i got that much later than i got a 320 compact so i have the most trigger time out of all my pistols really uh, in modern times from 320 compact and it's a very similar trigger so uh, gives you a little bit of background it's pretty fair estimate uh, you know test by me we'll start with some simple accuracy but then guys we'll get into mozambiques and fast fives and more practical applications of these pistols this is back at seven yards about. Let's see, I'm gonna start with the Pinky Extender PPQ. And guys, uh, the, the first shots out of these with the Pinky Extenders will be with Hot Stuff SMB 115, much hotter. And then we'll switch to the, the Flat Mags with the federal brass. And that kind of simulates almost plus P versus almost standard pressure self-defense rounds. All right, 70 yards PPQ. That's P with the PPQ head. And for the uh, X-ring, this is a half size target, one of the smaller targets. So there's three from the PPQSC, and let's go for a headshot. All right, so there's a couple headshots, three body shots, five shots. That's with hot SMB stuff, guys, which is almost plus P, similar to your plus P carry ammo, which probably should be 124 grain HST. Golden Saber, Black Belt, or Bonded, or if you're law enforcement, probably a Gold Dot. All right, 
Now let's go through the P365, the same target up. Let's zoom in on some of those hits. All right, so there is the first three from Subcompact, and then let's go with the P365. I haven't shot the P365 in anything past five yards yet. Um, so this will be interesting. Again, with the hot stuff, but the pinky extender to kind of deal with that, which is more likely how most people that you're really knowledgeable about firearms would probably carry it with the pinky extender and probably with plus P rounds. Okay. Uh, actually, I, I, I maybe would put the, the standard pressure V-Crown or the 124 regular HST in it, but that's because it has a shorter barrel than the uh, Walder. Okay, 365. Shots are about equal. That looks like a tie to me, I think. Hopefully, you can see it in the video when they hit it. And I'll back it up again so we can try to go for a couple headshots. Again, this is a uh, full size target at all. Okay, those are in, which is pretty good a little bit there. So while the results look similar, it's definitely easier to achieve actually with the Walther, but again they're different sizes, but that shows you the SIG is definitely capable. Okay, let's change targets and uh, let's do some more rapid fire stuff. So you too better, it's been really bad lately guys, I'm trying to take it some between stuff, but if it doesn't happen by the time you see the video, uh, my apologies. So here, I'll let you look at the target really quickly uh, to see how, that this is a smaller target. I'd right, call it pretty much a tie without watching it back. You know, twelve thirty-five, I believe, uh, twelve thirty feet per second out of four inch barrel, anyway. The other day I stitched them well at five yards and it was stitched up and down center line just like on the spine which is good uh, but guys that's not acceptable for me really my usual shooting one of those I, I dipped the barrel in the recoil in the fast five and went way low. Now, the fact that I'm stitching them center I like uh, but at least at five yards the other day I stitched it low to high like that in uh, a different target but basically same kind of size box same kind of thing so, you know, pretty good in a fight, but one out of the five, uh, not very acceptable. Centered though, uh, even during recoil, uh, rapid fire, maybe those were 20, 20 splits, it's not as fast as usually fire in I think we're at 70 yards. Uh, uh, but not bad, not great. Okay, now I got five left in the 365, which I just press checked easily. I just have nice circulations on the slide for that. Uh, Let's go fast five at five yards. I'm sorry, five yards with this 365. Press it out, picking up that front dot, and go. Okay, so with the 365, kind of same thing. I stitched him. Uh, and usually I'd like that a little bit more controlled, but I stitched them up and down with four of the rounds, mostly center line again, and one went left. So, I mean, technically one in the D box, one in the C box. I guess technically you could actually give that to the 365, but overall I'd call that a draw. Um, so, not bad. So, it's kind of telling me more trigger time, the 360, because that's what the hot stuff with the pinky extender, I can. You know, I have XL, XL hands, watch the other video. With the pink extender, I can control pretty good. With the 12 rounder, probably better. I, I'm not, I have the 15 round Walder mag, but I don't have a 12 round SIG mag, so I'm not gonna do that test. All right, let's put this in. 
And let's do some uh, motion boots on a few targets. Flush mag, PPQSC. Let's do a couple motion beaks. Let's zoom this in. Five yards. Again, I'll try to edit it out, guys, but I've been having problems. Okay. Wow, I shot great the last couple times today. I'm not doing very good. But maybe that's because this is my pinky dangler mag. Okay, let's try it again. I'd call two of those unacceptable to me. That's not acceptable to me. Again, I would only carry this, and I am carrying it already, with the pinky mag and a pocket holster. Um, so I don't like these flush mags. I don't like pinky dangling. That's pretty much what I have to say about that. Headshots are on with the PPQ, which is nice. This has the metal phosphorescent sights because it's the LE version. I should have pointed that out earlier. The SIG comes now with the excellent X-ray sights. I'm going to leave the same target and throw in rounds Throw in the mag for the 365, and let's do the same thing. Okay, 365 now, pinky dangling, saucer pinky underneath. Okay. Well, that was much better. Me or... Hmm. All right, let's do it again. Headshot a little high, chest shots were better. That's a little obscure to me. I was not expecting those results. It could be uh, back and forth or me concentrating hard and not look bad on, on camera as well. So I got four rounds left in each, I do believe. Can't tell, there's only a not cut a hole of five in the stig. Well, there, I think the math should be right. I think I got four left in each. So, let's just do a fast four while we're here, guys. Let's just finish up with some rapid fire. Um, I really don't like pinky dangling. Let's just finish up with some rapid fire. Okay. The three yards, I could still do really well. Five, maybe not. I think one went low left pretty bad. That was with the wall there. Hopefully you can kind of see the hits. Guys. And now last four. Fast four with the P365 and Pinky Dangler. Feeling much better with the 365 as the test goes on, to be honest. Uh, did it feel good with it at all if you see my first review and the, the first round through it? And definitely feeling better with it now. Now guys, if you watch my other videos, usually with uh, full size double stacks, and even the other day with the uh, wall there, I, I usually shoot much better. This is uh, not really acceptable to me uh, as far as those hits there. All those are not unacceptable to me. All those are, are, are good enough for me. Those are good enough for me because that's really not a head size. So that one skin in the head really would maybe Mohawk a guy. I'm still being the brain pan. So, um, interesting. Interesting. Um, in the, if you watch the first videos, definitely feeling a very large advantage going to the wall there. Uh, but with a little more time, this with practice, with regular practice. Let's say with regular practice, now I'm now feeling this can almost be as good as this, but that's regular practice, and that's with a pinky extender only, not with a pinky dangler. That's only with the pinky mag or with a 12 round mag. Um, could it maybe be as good as that? And I still feel that's only with standard pressure. If you want plus P and the better velocity, even with anything, out of a three and a half inch barrel, polygonal barrel, um, you're gonna want the wall there. So different sizes, different strokes for different folks. Bigger guys, I think, in general, are probably gonna prefer the wall there. 
bigger, wider pistol. The P365, I got extra large hands. Boy, that, like, like where is that supposed to go? Is it supposed to go there? Not really. It's supposed to go there, right? So you got to get a good grip. Uh, if you watch all the videos where people are having problems, it's because they right rode the so high. Uh -huh. So your thumbs really need to be down here, but mine are anyway. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. So, flex rate sights, night sights come on the SIG. Uh, bad plastic sights come on the wall, they're standard, so either plan on replacing them with tritium or get the LE version that comes with metal phosphorus. Okay. So, really both good pistols. Um, I would like to get more trigger time on the 365. It's growing on me a bit. If you watched the earlier video, it was a little more critical. Um, but they definitely kind of don't really serve the same role. People put, put, put them in the same size and they're not. They're not, guys. So, huh, I don't know what this says other than today I didn't look like a good shooter and the other day I looked like a much better shooter. Probably because I've put too many rounds down range and my back's starting to hurt uh, today. But, you know, mostly acceptable mostly acceptable uh, i try to show you some rapid fire stuff some more kind of defensive gun use stuff what you should be training fast five mozambiques three yards five yards not only seven ten fifteen um probably done a test and maybe in the future it'll be a part two let's put these things at seven ten fifteen yards and see how we can do i really haven't done that i i do have a video shooting my first 10 shots of the walder felt there at um, 15 yards and was perfect um, so I, I did fine with that not sure how I do with the SIG at 15 yards so that's maybe a part two could be done but guys I hope you liked it check out the individual videos like the comparison video I think I'm the first one on YouTube with a true shooting comparison video of the PPQ SC and the P365 guys I'm Dan the Wolfman please if you carry a deadly weapon of pistol a knife Learn some combatives, learn some jujitsu, learn some catch wrestling. Guys, I have all of it in every martial art in the world on my page. Check it out. Please sub and share, and I'll catch you on the flip side.